Well, hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I'm going to review a show that I've actually never seen before. It's season four, episode um, one of the Glades, um, Yankee, Yankee Man, I think. Is that what it's called? Yankee Man? No, Yankee Dan, Yankee Dan. And I've never seen the show before, but I've heard it's really good. So I thought I'd check it out, um, because it did seem like an interesting show, so I checked it out, and I gotta say, I loved it. I really liked it, and you know why I liked it? Because it's not just about him being a detective, it's also about his personal status and things like that. So pretty much, um, he, it's, um, is his name Joe, I think? No, Jim... Jim Lawnworth is this um, detective who kind of tries to solve um, unsolved mysteries, but it's not like he arrests people. He pretty much solves them after the murders have been committed and after everybody is dead. So he tries to, so in this one he was trying to help this girl who was trying to help her family because there was this mystery that, had, that wasn't solved. And in the meantime, he was waiting on his girlfriend for an answer, um to if they will get married if she wants to marry him or not and I, you know what i really love about it is that he's hilarious honestly he's very funny and i think it's great that he's really a really great protagonist and i mean he's very funny he's but he's not like arrogant or anything he's just very funny he has a lot of really good lines and every time it gets dramatic he says something funny to so that way it's not too dramatic and i do like that i like that they do that and I think it really helped people who are like, whoa, that was scary. It's not really, it, it can be kind of scary once you see some of the stuff. Like, this episode was about a ghost, and if it hadn't been for his funny lines, it wouldn't have, it would have been a scary episode, but it really wasn't that scary. Also, his girlfriend was developing this friendship with another girl who I didn't really know about. Um, but I gotta say, I really did love this show. Now... I'm going to talk about some of the other stuff I really like. Yes, it's not... The thing I like is it's not your typical detective show. They solve these mysteries after everybody's dead. There's nobody to arrest. There's nobody to kill. Um, they, they are just trying to solve a mystery of somebody's history of their family. Like, in this one, some this girl wanted to solve um, her family's history because it was this really um, unsolved murder. And it was very interesting, it's definitely very interesting to see him try to solve these mysteries that have been unsolved. And, you know, I just thought it, it's really great, and I really do like it. So now we're going to get into some of the performances for the Glades. So now let's get to uh, the performances. And since this was my first time watching, yes, I'm going to talk about the performances. Um, I think the strongest was definitely, as I said, Matt Pasmore is a very good um, he's a very good, um, protagonist, he's very funny, and then you also have Keely, um, Sanchez as Callie, who is his, um, who is his, um, his ex-wife, and, um, it's not going very well for them, so you have her, but then you have his girlfriend, who is actually a really, really good actress, and I think they're, they're really good together. So, I like them together, and I'm trying to find out, is that a separate girl? No, it's not. He was trying to re-propose to um, his, his ex-wife, and in the end, she ends up saying yes, which it was really great. I, I'm, I'm just happy it's a very light-hearted show. I'm not, not really light-hearted, but it's not very, like, intense, because... He's very funny. It's more of a comedy drama, so I really enjoy that, and I definitely am happy I have another show to watch on A&E on Monday, so I think that's really great. That's it for my review of The Glades. Let me know what you guys think of this show. Um, do you think I should keep reviewing it? Because I do enjoy it, and I thought it was a good episode, so I will keep uh, reviewing this show for you. Now, the other show I'm going to try out, I'm not sure if I'll review for you if it's really bad. I'm not sure if I'm going to review it to you. The only reason I want to review this show to you 
is because it's on VH1, it's a scripted series. Um, and that should be interesting to watch. That show has hit the floor. Now, I'm going to say, this show might end up being a show for girls. If that's the case, I'm not going to really review the show for you because I'm going to be, like, embarrassed to review it. But if I do end up really enjoying it, I will review it for you. So if you see a review, that means that it was better than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to watch it right after this and uh, let you know what I think of it. So I will see you then. Bye.